Hey Sunrise, Andrew here with your small group questions for this week as we bring chapter 31 to a close. Now in this text, we're going to see God fulfill his promise to Jacob to prosper him. So we saw the promise of offspring fulfilled last week. Now we see the promise fulfilled of land. So very first question, what do you make of how God fulfills that promise? How do you see that play itself out throughout this text? And with that in mind, what do you make of Laban and Jacob and their relationship in this text? How are we beginning to see the fractures grow? Um, what do you make of Laban's statement, the fact that he has received through divination the fact that he is blessed through Jacob? How does that knowledge then affect the way that you see his response to Jacob? There's a big thing that leads into that point. I think we should lean into it. And that is this for that Laban saying that he knows his blessing has come from Jacob. He then deals with Jacob, not in a way that we would say is encouraging of that reality. So what does that mean about Laban's knowledge? What does that mean for us, even how we know God's at work and how we can distort the goodness of what God has done for us for our own gain? How, what do you make of Jacob's decisions along the way? How Jacob then turns this manipulation to his own end as we see Laban and Jacob battle it out throughout. And then ultimately, how do we see again God at work through it all? Again, it's a text where God is very much not spoken of often, but is again overshadowing the whole thing as he works things to his conclusion to ultimately make much of him through Jacob. I hope you spend some time in the text. Again, it's a little bit short of a text, but it's really going to set up for what goes on in the weeks to come, as well as coming out of the fulfillment of what we've already seen, God's promise in Bethel, despite Jacob. So I hope that you'll spend some time in the text, enjoy what the Lord teaches through it. And again, how do we see Christ ultimately being this blessing to us in spite of ourselves? So can't wait to worship with you guys on Sunday.